So, you've got a pair of shoes with really long laces. How do you go about making them shorter? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you five different ways of doing so, so that your laces can be shorter, more concealed, and overall look better. And I do want to point out that these five ways normally work best for casual shoes. You can try them with formal shoes, but normally I wouldn't recommend them. The first method is the underfoot tuck. This one's only in the video because of how popular it is. This one involves grabbing the two loose ends and simply tucking them down either side of the foot. Once they're under the feet, your body weight is what's supposed to keep them in place. Although this is the easiest one to do, it's probably not the most effective. And you'll normally find that you have to keep putting your laces back in place, which can be kind of frustrating. The next option to neaten up and conceal your laces is the tie and tuck. This one's almost as easy as the first option. With this one, make sure that you start by looking at the top two eyelets and push the laces in from the outside of the shoe down into the inside. Then tie a small knot or bow, it's really up to you, and then tuck it underneath the shoe tongue. This will conceal it from view, giving a much more sleek look. And if your shoelaces are too long, it can also help to cover them up too. Number three in this video is very similar to number two, but this is a variant for if your shoelaces are way too long. I call this one the wrap and tuck. As with the previous option, make sure that at the top eyelets, the laces are going from outside the shoe to the inside. Then wrap both ends of the laces around your feet, and then once more tie them in a small knot at the top and tuck them under the shoe tongue. Because this one is wrapped around the foot, it's far more secure than the previous two options, but with shorter laces, you'll struggle to pull this one off. The fourth option is cutting the laces. This is a really easy thing to do, just grab a pair of scissors and cut it to size. But usually you'll find that the end of the lace starts to fray. You've got a couple of options here. Normally laces come with this type of tubing on the end of them to hold them together. Online you can actually get hold of similar heat shrink tubing. I've seen people recommending this sort of thing online, but the thing for me is, if you're going to be going online to buy something anyway, you might as well be going online to buy new laces. My alternative to this is to seal the end with super glue or some polystyrene cement, both of which you might find lying around the home. And if you're doing that method, I'd recommend taking the full amount that you want off just off one side of the lace, so that then you've got at least one good end to play with. I've tried this one before, and it's a good option to keep you going until you buy some new laces. Option number five is one of my favorites, and possibly the most interesting. I refer to this one as double lacing. This one requires no strange knots. It doesn't require to cut your laces. With this one, undo the laces down to the middle sets of eyelets. Then when you take one of the laces and pull it across to the opposite side, push it through the hole, but then go back to the place that you just started from. Pull it up through the hole again, across the top to cover that previous lace, and pop it back in the hole. This will leave it so that you've got two laces sitting flush on top of each other. And then you can continue lacing up the shoe as normal. And because you've gone the extra distance, it saves you a couple of inches. It's up to you how many times you do this, it just depends on the length of your laces. The great thing with this one is then you can just go and tie your shoes at normal, as long as you're not bothered about the knot being on display. You'll normally find that this method works better with shoes that have got normal sized holes. Some of these eyelet holes on formal shoes will be so small you won't be able to go back through again. That's my basic five tips when it comes to shortening and concealing laces, but I want to throw in a bonus tip as well. In reference to a mistake I see loads of guys making when it comes to buying new laces. I used to work in a shoe shop and it was unreal the amount of guys that used to come in wanting newer or shorter laces and having no idea what size to actually go for. Your best bet for doing this is to take the old laces out of your shoes and measure your laces with a tape measure. Then grab the other shoe and see how much you'd want off the lace. Subtract that from the full lace and you'll have a much better idea of what size to go for. So that's my best tips when it comes to shoelaces. If you enjoyed this one, please like the video and share it with someone that might find it useful. Subscribe for free to see similar videos like this one and I'll see you in the next video.